Hey YouTube, back with another video today guys, and today was an interesting day in the market for me. I had a little bit of a slump, um, just because I have a large holding in very specific stock, but um, I'm not really worried about those kind of things, I'm worried more about, uh, I guess, short term when it comes to the volatility in the market as a whole right now, because we've had such a nice run up over the past, um, you know, nine years now, and it's just getting to the point where, you know, are we going to continue this? Um, I think we have to be very careful at this point because we could very well and very likely see ourselves entering into a bear market. It just, all the signs are kind of pointing in that direction. Um, some of the sectors that just have been totally like, you know, just downplayed for some time now has uh, been really interesting. And I think we're gonna end up with a very like diverse uh, situation. I noticed some of my tech stocks were up like massively today. And then I also noticed that some of my other stocks were really down today. Some of my like, um, like low valued PE stocks. Um, but currently as it stands, um, there's one company that I think would be a, a pretty good buy at this current price. Maybe you guys have heard of Campbell's Soup. I know that sounds like a really weird time. Um, why would you buy anything for Campbell's Soup? Because when you start to enter into a recession, Typically people buy more of Campbell's products um, and uh, I think it could be a good time. I don't think really people care about like if things are organic or things are, you know, super healthy for you during those times because people are just trying to survive. Okay, let's just go ahead and look at Campbell's Soup real quick and why I think that this company could be a potentially a really good buy for the long term. Um, this company has uh, had a lot, been around for a very long time, I think, um, and um, I think it's, I don't remember how long it's been around for, but it's been around for a really long time, and I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about why I think that this stock is a pretty decent buy currently um, priced at its current um, level. So it's been paying dividends for a really long time. Um, as you can see, it's had some a really steady payout for um, its dividends, um, and its price to earnings ratio is pretty interesting. It's pretty decently low. Apparently, it's like 14.06 right now. Um, the stock, I think, as of yesterday, was at $42 uh, a share, and as you can see right here, back in 2013, kind of at its high point, that's kind of where it is, and the stock has been up to $60 at one point. Um, but its P ratio was quite high at that time, so there was probably a little bit of a sell-off, and the organic market has increased um, quite a bit um, as people are trying to be more health conscious, but I think with a lot of people being health conscious, you also have to take into consideration um, how hungry people get when um, you're in the bit of a recession. And I think that um, cheap beer and um, Campbell's soup is actually a pretty good buy um, during a bit of a recession just because I think that people still want to have some of those luxury based items uh, or comfort foods to um, survive off of but they're not wanting to pay like a high premium that you would pay for like say a better tasting food product. So there's that. Um, its P ratio has came down quite a bit. It hasn't been this low since like kind of 2012. Um, maybe 13, once again, back in 2014 when it was priced at $40. I think that's a pretty good buy-in point for Campbell's Soup. Um, that's just my personal opinion on the stock itself. Um, we can look a little bit further into its financials. Um, as you can see, its net has increased. Um, its operation has increased, um, margin, and its gross has actually slumped a little bit. And so that's probably why you see a little bit of a drop in the stock, but uh, I still am a little bit bullish on this stock for the long term. Another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is its revenues has remained really relatively decently steady um, since 2013 to its current uh, amount. It's slumped a little bit, which is kind of sad. Um, I think that you might see a little bit of a, a rise here coming in the few years, and I think it's just a good place to just kind of park your money and like keep um, you know getting dividends from. As we look in further into the balance sheet, it's not horrible, it's not great. Um, it could be, their long-term liabilities can be decreased. Um, let's look a bit at their cash flow. And as you can see here, the cash flow is pretty steady. Um, it's just kind of running amok. 
And I think if you're, or not running amok, but just kind of chilling. So I think if you're just looking for a place to just kind of boop, you know, I'm going to just park my money here. I'm not really worried about it. And then maybe in a year or two's time, um, or three years or four years, or five years, doesn't matter. Um, and um, you, you could probably see a pretty decent return on this. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if in like five years, um, if we enter a bear market and you buy along the way and dollar cost average down on this stock, um, say it comes down, you know, somewhere around in the $20, $25 price range and you buy during those times, that when you come out of it, I think it'll be pretty good. Um, that's just if the stock takes a little bit of a dip. Um, but we'll see how the company does here in the few years. I just wanted to kind of bring that to your guys' attention with a little bit more uh, details why I think the stock could do pretty good in the coming uh, years. And um, it's interesting. I think that commodities also might be having a breakout just because if you look at the chart, um, commodities have been just kind of like really slumping a lot uh, for some time. And we've had such a just a massive rise. Um, I don't know exactly how commodities necessarily work because I haven't really studied commodities a whole lot. So if any of you guys out there have studied commodities and you wanted to talk to me about commodities, that'd be a great uh, thing for I for me to learn about. Just because it's just this. It seems like it's just been pushed down for so long since like 2008. It seems like it's the exact opposite of what happened with uh, the stock markets like since the stock market has gone up commodities have gone down like in a direct correlation and i think that's really strange you would think that like commodities would kind of like go up with the rise of stocks going up right because you know more people are spending more money they're buying more things but commodities have slumped it's kind of like this weird thing yeah i don't understand why that necessarily is happening maybe you guys know why that is um, but this is a question that I wanted to ask you guys today. Um, but yeah, here's what I think is going to happen in the market. I think the stock market will have a, a massive break and then I will sell. Um, and what I mean massive break is I think we're kind of, we've had a little bit of slumpy trading uh, going on. And I think a lot of people are, are already waiting in to see where the market goes. It's, it's D-Day. I mean, we've got not a whole lot of time left and earnings are coming out here very soon. And this is going to probably be the determining factor of where the market is going to go. And if it goes south, well, I think we're going to enter into a bear market, at which point, you know, you can just kind of buy stocks on the way down if they have really good, um, you know, P ratios. And that's why you always keep cash on, on the side. I've been talking to you guys about this and why it's important to invest in companies that might be struggling um, a little bit because if you buy a stock when it's at its lower point, when it's struggling financially, say one of their manufacturing companies um, or buildings like got destroyed by a hurricane and they had like a hundred other facilities, if if it was just one facility, the stock could see a, a drop and um, it might see quite a drop for some time and then it could see like a massive pickup too um, just because it could go from this big massive drop and, um, and then it finally recovers like maybe a year or two down the road. Um, and I think that's a really good buying um, sign for a lot of people. If you see uh, a company that has like a lot of great products or um, you know, like for instance, if you knew anything about like Samsung and when their phones caught fire, I'm sure the stock probably took a hit during that time. Um, I probably would have bought some of Samsung's products because I love the company. It's probably my favorite company. Unfortunately, I can't get uh, direct access it on my Robinhood account. But it's just one of those funny things. It's like, you know, you can make opportunities into those kind of things. And like when stocks take drops like that, that could be a really good buying opportunity for you. Um, and I want you guys to be aware of that, but also be aware if we're going to enter into a bear market, that means stocks will continue to go down further and further as time goes on. And we haven't seen one of those in quite some time. It's almost been 10 years since the last time we entered a bear market. So this is a long, long run up. And we've had like some slumpy times back in uh, 2015 to 2016. And I think in 2000. 13 to 14 I want to say there was some times where we were kind of going back into the bear market and then all of a sudden you know we continued to go on we continued to to press forward and um, I want you guys to be aware that this time might not be the case um, I am a little concerned of where the market is going 
And um, it seems like, and I know this is going to sound really strange, it seems like we're preparing for war. Like, and I mean, like, actual war. Um, and I know that sounds like a really scary thing. I don't like to talk about that kind of stuff because it's just, you know, a really terrible thing. But it seems like that that's just the type of scenario that that's building for right now and I just want you guys to be prepared for it so if you enter in with the stock market fall off or sell off that you guys are prepared for when um, you know you have two to three years of just the market just going down and um, that's part of investing is you have to think of the long-term aspects of investing you can't just invest you know, like right now and then expect like next week it's going to shoot to the moon. You have to pick good companies that are probably going to weather the storm and have enough cash on hand to be able to make it into uh, future years and future growth. Um, but currently as it stands, I, I, I just I see that the bear market is really coming. Um, and uh, I'm a little concerned about that because I've never been able to I just started investing. So, you know, usually this is the time where people like me get killed. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to look for the next big rally, which I think is coming here pretty soon, and then I'm going to sell off. And I think I won't be the only one that does that, and I think that will trigger the, the bear market from here on out. So I just wanted to make a video on that today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you like this video. Dislike if you dislike the video. And if you really like the video, please subscribe. If you have any uh, comments that you want to talk to me about commodities and why you think that they're going to be very uh, bullish or bearish, uh, feel free to comment down below. I'd love to talk about it. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.